I'd always wanted to be heavyweight champion of the world. I didn't want to look back in my life and think, what if? I had a cage fight. Two weeks later, I had a kickboxing fight, and the week after that, I had a boxing fight. And that's sort of how I started my fighting career. It got to the point where I didn't, um, I knew that I wasn't going to be an MMA fighter. I threw two kicks in eight fights as well, so everything was just punching. So I, I sort of quickly realised and, and sort of just went the path of boxing. We've got the opportunity here in Australia to support uh, a guy who's an amazing person outside the ring with a heart of gold, who wants to you know, do his country proud and, and be the heavyweight champion of the world. So I've got a guy who I'm training, I know, and lives and dies by the sword. He'll, you know, he'd rather be carried out rather than you know, walk out of the ring. I've held the pads for Tyson, who without doubt is the most sharpest, fiercest puncher that I've ever held pads for. But Lucas is a, is a different power. Lucas has got this amazing one punch thud power that was maybe harder than anybody ever held pads for. There's a bit of speed to it, of course, but it's not that big explosive, bang, 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 bang like, like sort of Tyson was. It's just that big thud. Stay low, stay low, There's never going to be a dull moment when, when you watch the fight, and that's one thing I did take from sort of watching Tyson grow up. I'm an animal in the ring, but a nice guy out.